Hello and welcome back to Outmouse Labs. My name is Penny and I'm glad you're here. So today we're going to be picking back up on our lure tutorial series that we started about a year ago. Um, I have learned a whole lot and would like to share some of that with you. So quickly we're going to be using Teak80 which is a fantasy console that's free and open source. Uh, and so if you are using the free version of Teak80, the setup is going to be really simple. If you go ahead and spring the $10 to get the professional version, there's a little bit more to do at the beginning, but it does make things a lot easier going forward. So I'm going to go over both in this first video. So first of all, when you get Teak80 and you load it up, it looks like this. Um, you can do this in the box, uh, in the windowed form, or you can go to full screen. Either way, it's up to you. Uh, when it first loads up, if you hit escape, it will bring you to the code editor. Looks like this. And by default, that's in Lua. You can hit this F button to go to the smaller font. Some people find this easier to read. Um, some people find it harder to read, but it does give you more space. If you are using the free version, this is it. You're ready to go. Um, you can press F1 to go to the code editor, F2 to go to the sprite editor, F3 to go to the map editor, etc. Um, very, very simple. You can hit escape to go out into the console. The only other thing we're going to do is um, if you hit control R or you can type run, either way, it's going to run your game. When you hit escape, by default, it's going to show you a menu, and that menu looks like this. Okay? Now, I have found for development it is way easier to turn this off. So to do that, you go to Options, and you go to Dev Mode, and you turn it to On. It's going to be off by default. Once you put it in Dev Mode, notice it says the game menu is disabled in Dev Mode. You'll just hit Escape or click on Back. And what that does is, like mine now, let's say we're coding in the editor and we're down here on this right here. If we hit Control r to run, we're now in it. We hit Escape, it takes us right back to where we were. Um, and as I showed you, you can still get into the menu simply by typing menu. So nice and simple. All right, so if you are using the free version, you can go ahead and pause here and jump to the next video. Now, if you are using the professional version, which does cost $10 on itch.io, um, there's a little bit more setup that I do recommend. Okay, and the thing is, what it is, is we can code outside of Teak80. And I find Visual Studio Code much, much much easier. For one thing, I'm uh, nearsighted, so I can see it better. So to do that, um, what you're going to do is you're going to save your file, and uh, you're going to save and then name it dot .lua, dot .lua. Now again, I'm using Lua. There are other languages you can use for TK80, but this is what, what I'll be using. Um, and you would hit enter to save. Um, and that's going to save a file, which I will, I can, actually, I can just show you. So we hit save, then we go over to, we can go to folder. You type in folder. It's going to pull up this folder. I suggest saving it along the side like I did. Um, and this folder is the folder you're going to open up in VS Code. Um, in Linux, you do that by opening a terminal, typing code, dot. But I've already got it open. Okay, so once you open the folder, it's going to look something like this, although with less stuff. The one we just created was... call it name yeah name.lua this is what it looks like by default all of these comments these green parts these are the map data the sound data all of the visuals and assets are coded in these comments so you can't touch them the only thing you want to mess with is the code is your code in the middle right here okay so next up you've got it open in visual studio code you're going to want to go install the lua by zoom neko extension and the TK80 Pro VS Code extension, right? Next up, you're going to want to go over to this website, which is linked in the uh, notes below. Click on RAW, Control A, Control C to grab it all. Then you're going to go back over to your, you're going to go to preferences, um, configure snippets. You might have, mine's on top, but you'll, you'll go down to Lua. And yours will just have some comments. You can, if you have not edited this before, you can just hit control A, control V, and paste it over the top and you're done. If you've done edits, obviously, stick it at uh, the bottom of your existing stuff. Okay. 
What this does is give you code snippets in VS Code, which is really, really nice. So once you've done that, now you are also ready to go. I will see everyone in the next video.